Welcome to Ecom's Useful Idioms 100. This is where I introduce to you useful idioms that you can use in your daily conversation with friends or even at work. The following clips are done in English, so you might have to listen hard, but let's work together to master these idioms. Here we begin. The idiom for today is be that as it may. Be that as it may. That's a very strange idiom. Doesn't it sound like it's missing a sentence, being that as it may? Let me give an example to see if you can figure out what this idiom means. You can save a lot of money shopping at the grocery store. Be that as it may, I still prefer shopping at convenience stores. So do you agree with the idea? You can save money if you shop at supermarkets, but convenience stores are so much more useful close by, there's not long lines. So be that as it may. Try one more. So do you think my ideas are good? Yes. But be that as it may, I still want to go with my ideas. Now what does it mean, be that as it may? Have you ever been in a situation where you listen to someone's idea and you think their ideas are good? You agree with their ideas. But you like your ideas better, so you're going to go with your ideas. In those situations, you can use this idiom, be that as it may. The first example, I agree with you. If I go to supermarkets, I can save money because things are a lot cheaper. Hmm, I really, really agree with you. But I think I'm going to stick going to convenience stores. I'm going to keep on going to convenience stores. So in situations like that, when you want to recognize that you agree with the other person's idea, however you want to keep your own idea, we use this idiom by saying, be that as it may. So maybe next time when someone gives you a good idea and you agree, but you want to keep your own ideas, you can say, oh, be that as it may, be you are right, but I think I will stick to my idea. Take care, have a nice day, bye-bye.